Oh, good morning, folks. So, we are back with another YouTube video. Um, today is the first day of our high days. So, this is our kind of reverse diet back up into the show. We had our last rest day, kind of low dragon day yesterday, which was phenomenal to get ticked off. It is currently uh, half twelve. Um, so started obviously a little bit late with the recording, oh geez. Um but was just a busy, busy morning. Um, so we have had two meals so far. We've had meal one and our pre-workout, both the exact same meal. So 100 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of whey, um, and 60 grams of banana, which has been fantastic. So, so good. Um, so with each meal, I'm taking a digestive enzyme and we are taking uh, the Insure by JP, which is a GDA a glucose disposal agent, which is basically helping shuttle the carbs around the body a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficiently. Um, the plan of action for today, we have got push on the carrots today. It's going to be a light little pump session, so I may not record the actual training session today. What I will do is I will get tomorrow's session, which is going to be our very, very last session before the PCA. Um, I will get that recorded. We'll do a wrap up on the training. Um, it's a uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that it's coming to an end. The excitement is starting to kind of build now. Energy is definitely a little bit higher today. Um, we have got a pre. Um, today we've gone for um, Strom Nutrition Fastimax scoop and a half. We've gone with the Stimulmax a half scoop and dial in a half scoop from Train by JP. So we're going to going to see if we can get a decent decent pump today get some pictures and stuff after which we will show you but yeah so how day commences the peak week kind of starts now um gonna head over to the gym got my goldstone sweatshirt on shout out to the to the team um we've got myself competing this weekend We've got me, Katie, and Justin competing over at the Arnolds, which is pretty cool. It's been fun having the the girls kind of prepping along with Rachel for her shoot as well. Um, there's been a, a real sense of community over in the gym, which has been phenomenal. The support has been amazing. So we are going to pop over to the gym, get the pre-workout in as we're driving over. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. I'm definitely going to show you some of the meals this evening. Um, I know people love the food side of things, so we'll give you a little look at the food side of things um, and show you the next two days. So we'll speak soon. So the little bits that you don't get to see behind the scenes, getting the Instagram content. So that's what the goes on hops and stuff so far. Getting that little bit of a picture for the gram. So we've got one in the back, and we're now sitting up in the next spot. Anyone follow me on Instagram knows this is the next spot. So a couple of photos taken for the goes on Instagram. Page, I have to say the lads have been so supportive from the get-go. Um, you know, the interest, the questions, the the support has just been absolutely phenomenal. So shout out to the, the guys over here. It is much appreciated. Um, there will be plenty of food and cookies brought in for everyone. I can promise you that once I'm back from Birmingham. So Going to just jump into the push session, as I said, I'm just going to bang through this session, just get it done, get it wrapped up, get it back home to the good stuff, which is the food, give you a little look at that. Oh God, sensor lights, huh? Um, but yeah, we'll get cracking and I will speak to you in a bit. Oh, so there we have it, last push pump 
wrapped up um, very relaxed kind of session nothing mad uh, six seven exercises done about half an hour 40 minutes posing afterwards as well lower back gets pumped uh, just from holding the poses but that is that done we are now back at the car oh. time to go home and get another meal in it is half two so what I'll do is I'll go home relax for a minute um, just try and calm things down a little bit just to help aid digestion as much as possible um, you don't want to be eating when you are stressed and obviously post-workout your body is going to be highly stressed just from the work you've put it under so that is the plan of action again nothing ex nothing major for the rest of the day now just uh, probably do like a thousand steps in between meals that'll bring us up to the 10,000 mark check in in the morning and go again but we will show you the uh, the next meal so we are back home and we are about to sit down and have our post-workout meal we have got 120 grams of cream of rice with 60 grams of banana which is just fantastic complete strength caramel biscuit cream of rice is just phenomenal we've got my whey here i just at the minute 30 grams of whey um just blend it up with some ice just to kind of bump it up just helps in terms of kind of feeling a bit fuller um so this is going to go down now and then we have got three meals still left so it is half two now um, so we will spread the meals out nice and evenly across the day just to make sure that we stay full um, but we're going to take two digestive uh, two digestive enzymes and two ensure with this so again just to help aid digestion as much as possible and to shuttle the carbs around the body as efficiently as possible so going to get those in and then get stuck into this so uh, next meal, sitting down watching the golf with the boss man, so getting ready for the, the, the Ryder Cup the preview. We've got, oh, it's not too loud, we've got 120 grams of uncooked rice and a 100 grams of chicken with a little bit of the sugar-free ketchup and stuff. So I'm going to get this in, watch the preview, Shane Lowry on the box and get Ryder Cup ready because the weekend we get to Derry we will be doing nothing but watching the golf with the feet up in between getting meals and Dan and stuff done so we're uh so Rachel's up forward to that but uh yeah <laughs> she uh, she won't know until she gets here because this won't be a Friday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man can't complain. On the lead, we get used to that. We'll definitely get used to this for other food. So gonna crack on with this. Relax, and we've actually got the exact same meal coming up next. So again, 120 grams of uncooked rice. Obviously, we cook it not eating uncooked rice, yeah, 100 grams of chicken an um, and then we'll catch up before the last meal. So last meal made up, we have got 100 grams of cream of rice again, gonna leave that cool for a minute just before we put in the little bit of fruit and we've got 25 grams of the JP whey, salted caramel going in and that is a wrap then. So before we Get that food in as i said i'm leaving the cream of rice cool down for a little bit cooler um i have got my evening routine i've got a decaf tea sit down 15 20 minutes just to unwind um yeah so that's going to be a wrap for today we will catch you in the morning again check in with cool first thing in the morning and we will see how things are for the for the next friday oh good morning so we are back with the second holiday 
Um, yesterday went really well. Visuals are fantastic this morning. Um, Bossman is very, very happy. Uh, slight increase in the food today. Um, after all that food yesterday, weight did not budge a single, single bit. So exact same weight as yesterday. So we've got a slight increase today in the food. Um, just about to have my first meal. It is, I think it's like half, eight o'clock, half eight, nine o'clock. Today we have all our like little appointments and stuff, haircut, all that stuff getting done. So get this meal in, go off and get all that done and then come back and have pre-workout and all that kind of stuff. Last training session today, so everything is getting very, very real. So excited, excited. So this morning we have 120 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of whey, and we're gonna get stuck into that. It's a lovely way to start today. But yeah, we will check back in as the day goes on, give you a little look at the food as it goes goes in, and uh, we'll give you a little bit of uh, an update as to how we're looking then post-workout. Oh, so we are back home, haircut, <laughs> haircut done. Um, all the little bits and pieces picked up. Just made the last pre-workout meal before the PCA show on Sunday. Made the last intra, which is just five grams of creatine and 20 grams of EAAs. We've got pre-workout ready to go. Um, yeah, really starting to kind of settle in now. Um, so just going to get this done, head over to the gym, last workout going in. So what a disaster, <laughs> forgot the tripod and the camera uh, when we went over to the gym. But we just got on with it, got in, got the session done. Everything is wrapped up now. Currently just packing up for the trip. So we've got bed sheets, obviously because we are going to get proper tangled. So because we're staying in a apartment, one change bed sheets, don't want to spoil them, don't want to ruin them and get charged for them, bring our own towel, again, same thing, don't want to get charged for ruining the towels and stuff, bring in just black clothes, again, because we're getting tanned up, proper tangled, just kind of older, dark clothes to, to kind of lounge around in, um, don't want to be ruining good clothes when we're coming up here, and then just comfy clothes to travel back in um, when we're coming home from Derry, and... I will go through the packing of the food and stuff as well. Um, we've got the board charts to pack in. So I'm bringing the big, big suitcase. We've got a little 10 kg wheelie suitcase as well that we will bring to the show just for ease of not carrying things around, not having things lugged up on shoulders and stuff, room and pan and stuff. Gotta make it as easy as possible. Um, since we've been home, we've had one meal post-workout, 150 grams of cream of rice, 30 grams of whey, absolutely fantastic sat lovely um, we've got three meals left 120 grams of rice uh, that's uncooked weight and 100 grams of chicken in two meals and then 120 grams of cream of rice and 20 grams of whey to wrap up the day so we will get those ticked off but yeah i'm going to show you the packing of the food and stuff when we get that we'll go downstairs and do all that but uh yeah we're nearly there we're nearly there so quick little run to the shops just to get some little carb up bits for the kind of day of the show um, possibly for the travel up tomorrow just to make the food that little bit easier to kind of pack and stuff just picked up some caramel rice cakes peanut butter honey jam and bagels um, if I don't have them kind of pre-show um, or the day before or anything I am craving peanut butter, 
bagels and caramel rice cakes anyway so i will pick away on them on the way home because again we will be going over to birmingham uh six days after so we got to keep it somewhat okay i'm sure we will get a bit of food um oh get in there i'm sure we will get a bit of food um post show hopefully fingers crossed get at least a burger and chip or something um but it's a five hour drive home so we got to have some little snacks and again rice cakes bagels all that kind of thing are going to be okay so see we're planning hang on ahead um but yeah we have got two meals left it's now half six steps have pretty much been done so what i'm going to do is go in have a meal now um come out get about 1500 steps done um just post meal help with digestion and stuff and come home then make the last meal sit down relax and get ready for tomorrow um bags are nearly packed as i said i will show you just finishing off packing the bag and stuff we're nearly done there i just needed to step out of the house get some steps and take that off while i was at it so that's a little update as i said i am keeping the vlogs fairly raw and just kind of documenting what i'm doing when i'm doing it and kind of showing you everything i can really um i'll probably miss some bits they probably seem a bit scary but yeah that's prep we're we're nearly there so i'm gonna go in there now get some food and we'll chat in a bit oh good morning so um i had to kind of wrap up last night because a lot of the packing that we had left had to be done this morning quite a bit of the, the food and stuff had to be done so we are now the next morning we've got pretty much all the food packed up let me give you a look we've got now tip when traveling especially with food prep ziploc bags we've got big bag of chicken several bags of cream of rice bags of weight we've got rice cakes peanut butter honey jam um, just cooking up the uh, jasmine rice now and that is pretty much the food sources that we're going to be using so keeping it nice and simple and clean not some fancy um so everything is packed we've got a little travel bag i'll show you all the bags when we leave because it's ridiculous it's where i forgot i was going for a week and going for like tonight tomorrow drive home sunday um but yeah it's real now so everything is sorted there Everything is packed, ready to go. We are just waiting for the rice to cook, Rachel to show up, and then we're on the road. So that is it, packed and ready to go. It's all very real now. Um, so excited to get on the road and get traveling, get a coffee in. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up on the way. Look who has arrived with a smile. So that is it, we are finally off on a little adventure? Yep. You excited? Not for the drive? No. no. First stop? Coffee. First stop, Starbucks. Gotta get a coffee. Our several coffees. I'm gonna go with several coffees along the way. But we'll, uh, we'll get there, It'll be fine. But uh, as you can see, we are packed for seven weeks away. Um, with the amount of bikes, mainly me. Uh, but you have a fair whack of them as well, actually. You've got like what? One in the boot, two there, and your little backpack. Yeah, you're I've heavily packed as well. Boot, but one is a food bag, one is my clothes, and one is my work bag. Because work doesn't stop. Self employed life. But uh, yeah, cool. All right, <coughs> let's uh, hit the road. Oh, good morning. So it is. The next day, we finally got here. It uh, was an absolute torturous drive, I won't lie. So happy we got that done yesterday and weren't trekking up today because I would have turned around in Dublin. <laughs> Just drove home. But um, yeah, how'd you find the drive? Long. Yeah. I think, well, we were, we were in the car from 11 to about 7. There, thereabouts, probably a bit longer, maybe. I collected you at quarter past ten. Yeah, quarter past ten, and we got here at quarter to seven last night. So I'll tell you how long the drive took. And um, between, there was 
obviously all the pit stops if you haven't i'm going to put up a, an instagram highlight of all the uh, petrol stations that we stopped in along the way because it was ridiculous um but there was also major hold-ups in terms of roadworks there was a car crash on the way as well um so we did eventually get here the apartment is actually quite nice um so we've got the kitchen area we've got a little bedroom and bathroom so it's absolutely perfect perfect and then we've got the big telly for the rider cup because you know you can't miss out there so again yeah <laughs> um but yeah so plan of action today we have got six meals on the cards um i have two in at the minute so it is 12 o'clock so we've got two meals in um they are very very basic i will show you as we go along um we were just kind of getting organized and stuff this morning taking off a bit of work making sure everything was kind of done so that we could just relax for the evening as well um but the meals i've had so far i've had a 100 grams of cream of rice 20 grams of whey and 10 grams of dark chocolate and then i've had 100 grams of jasmine rice uncooked weight um when cooked adds up to i think it's just over 300 grams and then 50 grams of chicken um water intake for the day is four and a half liters of fluid and that includes the water used to make like the cream of rice and stuff so i'm uh, making those a little bit thicker than normal a little bit more of a cake texture um but it's actually lovely so i'm i'm very happy with the meals and stuff um we are going to go and pot around for a little bit in Derry. um there's a little shopping center literally four five minute walk from the apartment so we're just going to pop over there just pass some time We've nothing really to do, which is great. Um, a little bit of a walk to help digestion and stuff as well. Kubo was very happy this morning with the pictures, so we cannot complain there. Um, and then I am getting tangled up at half nine this evening for the base coat, 7 a.m. for the top coat tomorrow morning. We'll go over and register then at 9 a.m. And then the show starts at 11. I think we'll be on stage at about one. So that is pretty much where we're at. Um, if you're driving to Derry, I would recommend driving. <laughs> if you have to drive to Derry, I would recommend driving to like Dublin, staying in Dublin. If you're coming from Waterford, stay in Dublin at night and then drive to Derry because it would make life so much easier. That was, I mean, you're a passenger and you still found a fucking a nightmare. Like it was tough going. It was tough going. Um, but again, we got here and. It was definitely the right plan of action to come yesterday, 100%. Um, you know, it's made today so much more stress-free. And I think that's exactly what we needed kind of the day before. So it all worked out for, it all worked out well. It all worked out well. Um, and then the drive home, the drive home will be hopefully a little bit easier because we'll have a bit of food and stuff and I can pick away a bit of food compared to when we were driving up. So it'll make it a little bit easier. And because my water intake is obviously going to be a lot lower today, it's at four and a half liters um, compared to eight and a half liters. And then tomorrow it's just kind of sipping on water. So my water intake won't be as high at all. So that should help dramatically, dramatically. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, what I am going to do is probably I'll get one or two more clips as the day goes on um, but I'm pretty much going to have this all edited and ready to go I'm either going to pop it up tonight which is Saturday um, so that it's up and live or I'll put it up first thing in the morning um, tomorrow before the show so I'll have it like loaded up and ready to go um, and that will keep everyone up to date and then tomorrow is show day you're in charge of the camera tomorrow um now you've you've been you're getting the hang of it you got some cool little clips in the background and stuff there as well this morning which are cool so um i'll do obviously the little bits in the morning and then rachel is going to take over and hopefully get some show footage hopefully you can kind of bring the even the phone in and just record a bit of show footage if not i am buying the live stream and i am going to put the live stream in the next video anyway so you'll be able to see the the full men's physique category um and hopefully you know a nice gold trophy hopefully even a sword on the way home who knows um but the main thing for me and i think the main thing i want to 
to kind of stress is how happy I am at this present time stepping on stage with the work that has been done knowing that I could not do a single thing more bodybuilding is a very very subjective sport so when it comes to the judging criteria and stuff you could go to one show and they want one thing you could go to another show and they want another thing even in the same category you know so from that side of things the last couple of days and weeks have been really really like mentally focused on that and that alone that we've done the work couldn't have been better and I can walk off stage head head high no matter what happens and I think that's my biggest takeaway and I am very very happy with that obviously I want the trophy obviously I want the sword we don't come here to just take part we are coming to do some damage but at the end of the day as I said it is a very subjective sport and we got to we got to remember that and I think we forgot that for quite some time so we're going to wrap it up here we're going to see if we can't go find a pennies find a pennies one find man why not go here, ain't it? Yeah, you forget that you're up there. You forget that you're out, like, I'm not, you're not in Ireland, like the Republic of Ireland. Um, but it was like going back in time, actually, as well, driving up the roads. <laughs> it's, it's a bit mad. But uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. That was a lot of waffling. Standard. Um, and I will chat to you in a little bit.